All right, so what is good, everybody on YouTube? This is, of course, your boy B, Bullet RC, coming at you guys again with yet another. And I know, I know, it's not Sunday, it's Monday. So the weekend is over, and I would have dropped this yesterday, but I ain't gonna lie, your boy was tired. I was tired, man. I fell asleep around like 10 30 p.m., woke up at 6 a.m. today. And, you know, now we eat. So, as always, make sure you guys drop a like on this bit and check for any new videos. I did upload some early heat. So, make sure you go check that out after you're done with this video. I'll make sure to link it down below for you so it's a little bit easier. Back to the topic. Listen, like I said before, the weekend is over. So, it is time to get into this week's heat. Oh, hi, before we get into the latest sneaker releases, sneaker rumors, or anything I want to talk about in the sneaker or street world world, that is what we do here today. And remember, if I don't talk about a shoe, either I forgot about it, didn't edit it in, or it was just that. Ba so That I did not want to expose y'all to it, but listen, it's me and this week's Basuda, bruh. This, this, listen. You're going to see. Now, we got a lot of stuff to talk about, even an old room that has been kind of starting to pop up more and more, which makes me think this shoe is going to be dropping pretty soon. But listen, man, let's get into this week's heat or hype. First up, we got some more ISPA, ISPA, and Nike news. We have the brand new ISPA flow on the way, and these are going to be dropping on August 13th. These are the two colorways that are dropping. You got the medium olive, as well as I think it's the something spruce colorway. The lighter colorway, those are the spruce joints. Now, in my opinion, I actually really dig this one. I I, I don't know. They feel kind of like a, a weird version of the Presto. There are definitely some elements of the Presto lifted for sure and kind of adapted into this ISPA model for sure. So when they do drop on the 13th, me personally, I usually go for the lighter colorways like that spruce joint, but for this one in particular, I think I'm going to be going for that medium olive. I like the outsole on that one. I just kind of like the, it's kind of a weird assortment of colors. Medium olive, you got that yellow on the outsole, some hits of blue in there and the black. I don't know, I just like that colorway a little bit more than the spruce joints. Now, I'm not sure of the exact retail, but I'm gonna be assuming it's between 130 and 160, and for me, I'm gonna try to cop a pair. Now for this next one, we actually got a summer 2021 Jordan brand release. Blam, y'all see them right here. Another pair of 14s. And these ones are being called the Particle Gray 14. It's all over basically black and gray, but that little piece on the bottom, it kind of has this oil spill effect. I'm not gonna lie, they're pretty clean. Now they should retail at 190, and they kind of put me in, you know, the thought process when I first seen them. The other 14 I referenced was the Indiglo pair. It's not exactly the same. I don't think they're gonna have those weird green hits on this one, other than that color splash that you get down there on that, I don't know, the metal piece. Listen, y'all know exactly what I'm talking about, but Particle Gray 14s next year, so we have a while. This supposed to be next summer, so we got almost a year until we get any more info on these. These just popped up, though. Wanna let y'all know. Next up for 110, we got our first look at the actual shoe. This is the Pro Green pair of Nike Dunk Highs. Again, retailing for 110. There is no set and solid release date on these yet. I'm going to be assuming, I mean, what, August, September, October, I'm thinking probably maybe late September, maybe early October, or maybe even into November. Now we have already covered these, but we actually had some photos of the shoe and the green is a lot darker than I thought it would be. I thought it was gonna be a, a way lighter green. I'm not a fan of the darker green as much, but we'll just have to wait and see. Um, I don't know, this one might be kind of a pass for me personally. Earlier this year, we had some news of a possible at most elephant pair of Nike Dunk SB Lows, and it seems that those SBs do in fact release, and it wasn't just some BS blam, y'all see them right here. Now they do very, very closely resemble the mock-up, maybe it's the exact same as the mock-up, but that's all it was before, was the mock-up, what we thought they would look like. Now we have an actual photo of the shoe right here. Now the release date should be sometime in November, and I believe the retail is gonna be 100 or 110. Listen, y'all know the hype on the SBs is crazy right now, and this one will be flying off the shelf, flying out of inventories. Um, y'all know how it's been with SBs, bro. Up next, we actually got a brand new pair of Air Jordan 12s. While it wasn't one of my top releases of this month, this one, after seeing what those black and gold joints did, these are gonna go, and that is the Indigo Air Jordan 12. Now, these are gonna retail for that regular 190, and they are dropping on August 22nd. Now, the difference between this shoe and a regular Obsidian Jordan 12 is that apparently the upper on these is going to fade, and it has some type of underlay. Now, I don't know how crazy the underlay is. I don't know if it's gonna be like a Wings 12, or 
I'm just not sure because from the photos we have leather and then some of the photos it looks like more of a, a nubuck or a suede. So until someone scuffs them up or does what they have to do to reveal what's underneath of that indigo on the upper, we just won't know. And I'm hoping that it's just not the leather somehow goes away and then you have the nubuck or the suede underneath because to me that's not like a crazy design. They're kind of saying that every one of them is gonna be one of one. So we just don't exactly know yet. But on the 22nd, another pair of 12s is dropping. I mean, they're basically obsidian, so I'm I'm thinking they will sell out. Jumping into the next shoe, we are hopping back into Ultra Boost Adidas Talk, and this is actually the Ultra Boost 2021. And I haven't been picking up Ultra Boost at all, really. I just have those essential colorways that I really like, the black, the white. I know they re-released the, the original 1.0, the core white, which was dope. But jumping into the next year, this is what the new 2021 version should look like. And I mean, the Ultra Boost was always a performance shoe first, and I'm sure that's why they have all the boost in the back, okay? That is a thick, thick, thick sole back there with a lot of boost. I don't know though, y'all let me know down below what you feel about this one. Um, you know, they're not horrible, they're not bad. Could I wear the shoe? I would not wear it, I could wear it for sure. But is it something I'm gonna be spending that, what, 180, 190, maybe 200 when they drop on? Uh, probably not. Up next, we got another pair of SBs. This is another Dunk Low, and it really reminds me of a shoe that I actually already own that I picked up at the outlets for, I mean, they were $50 on the box, but I probably paid around 35, 40 bucks for them with that extra 10, 20, 30% off of them. And that shoe is, of course, in this black box. It is an Air Force One, and this is the Weatherman or the Thermographic, the Heat Map, the Forces, bro. Y'all remember these. Y'all remember these Forces, right? And y'all can see this SB over here is a Heat Map version of it, where this is kind of like more of a weather. This is a heat map joint right here. And I'm gonna tell y'all right now, I know the really crazy loud shoes like this kind of died out. I mean, even if they dropped it, you know, now, they probably, you know, I think they might, they might sell out. Depends on how many they drop. But when you add that SB hype on to it, these joints are again going to be going. Now, if I didn't have these bad boys right here, I probably would try to go for this SB. I might still try to go for it, but we're just gonna have to wait and see. This one, I don't think it's gonna be as limited as a lot of the other shoes dropping, but it is an SB so it'll probably only be dropping at your local skate shops and Nike sneakers so good luck if you are going for them again this is a pretty new one so there's no set and solid release date and I definitely need to break these out again very very soon now I believe last week we talked about a kith NYC a pair of forces but there seems to be also a blam white pair of the same shoe now when you see this shoe obviously I have to pull out I mean, in my opinion, the superior version, but I might be a little bit biased. And that is, of course, the Taiwan Air Force One with the all over white patent leather. The swooshes are the exact same. This one is just not a Kith collab, but still, in my opinion, this one is a, uh, I mean, this is just a better shoe. Very, very similar, but not exactly the same. But I'm not going to lie, if I did not have this shoe, the resale prices. I checked, have gone up on these. I would definitely be trying to gun for these right here. Now the retail is going to be 190 or at least that's what it's speculated to be. As far as a release date, it should be sometime fall 2020 this year. It is a kith release, so y'all already know how that goes. They will definitely be selling out now. It's definitely a dope pair of forces. Maybe it's not for everybody. I think it's simple enough that a lot of people will really like them, but we will just have to wait and see when they are actually dropped. Earlier this year, I know there was one heater hype where we had a lot of Nike Dunk news. And you already know, it's not a heater hype in 2020 or probably in 2021 without any Dunk news at all. And blam, as y'all can see, we have this no trade pair of Nike Dunk highs. And as y'all can see, we got three brand new colorways. Now the color codes on these ones made it seem like they'd be pretty basic. And as far as the colorway goes, yes, the colorway is basic, but the materials look pretty good. And on the inside, y'all can see, it's like two people shaking hands. So it is a little bit different. There's something to it. Now there does seem to be three different shoes. One does have the no trade patch right there on the top of the tongue. And the other just have your regular Nike Air. So I'm assuming that that no trade joint will be only available at their store. And the other two will be more widely available. But since we did get these photos of them, I'm gonna assume that they're gonna be dropping within the next two to three months. If I get any release date info, I will let you know. Another 2021 release in January, there should be a Bape and Adidas Superstar 80 releasing. Now these two are just mock-ups. 
This one for me, it, it's gonna be a pass. I haven't cop bape in a very long time, and I'm very, very particular with what I do cop because a lot of the bape shit that I did cop before, I copped it, it sat on the shelf, and eventually I just sold it because I never wore it. Now, I always just gotta reiterate this. This is just a mock-up, so when the shoe does drop, there can be a lot of changes. The shoe could look completely different. We just don't know as of right now, but Bape and Adidas is on the way for next year, January, 2021. Oh, Okay, so it is time to get into this week's Basuda of the Week. We have two, count them, two different shoes to talk about. And the first one is from JB. I'm sorry y'all are back on this list, but somebody Man. did this. Y'all can see him. This is a brand new pair of Air Jordan 1s. This is a leaked photo, and I just don't know what the fuck is going on with these at all. It's a blue, black, and white pair of 1s with the studs on the side. This is like the hot topic one right here i just don't know where the inspiration is from i'm pretty sure when they drop they're going to show a picture or someone's going to find a picture of jordan wearing a blue leather studded jacket and then blam you get the jordan one okay cool got it but the shoe itself is still pretty basura garbanzo beans garbolo juice for sure as of right now the retail should be 170 but you shouldn't really care about the retail because from these photos right here these are an absolute absolute Pass. But we'll just have to wait and see with some more photos if these have the, uh, I'm just going to call it the union effect on people. We'll just have to wait and see. Okay, so listen, for this next one, I even went ahead, changed the background. Y'all see who is in the background. Maybe you can't. It's Kanye West. Now, yay, showed off his brand new collab or some new shoe he's working on with D. Rose. And a lot of y'all hit me up immediately, expeditiously, and said, bull, please. Basuda of the week. I heard you, and yes, they are here. Somebody Blame. did this. This is the no name as of right now, but I'm gonna just call them the big mouth bass fives because they look like fish bone. Now, when I originally saw this shoe, I could not tell that it was a shoe. I didn't really know what I was looking at, but then I realized that it's kind of shaped like the foam runner. You can kind of see the back part is the heel. This is a shoe. This is real. This exists and it probably will be dropping at some point. Again, this is just a sample, but I just, I don't know what is going on right now. Is Ye in the year 5,000 or is Ye on some other shit? With this shoe right here, I just don't know. This for sure is one of the weirdest sneakers I have ever seen. And trust me, we talk about a lot of weird Basuda shit on this channel and this one is definitely up there. Now there was a little bit of footage of these on feet, at least the samples, and it's on a chick's foot. And these shits look huge, bruh, huge. So I could only imagine what a size 12 Yacht Gang Big Mouth Bass pair of fives would look like on my toes in particular. And I just, I, I don't know. Again, it is a very polarizing pair of shoes for sure and i want y'all to let me know three words to describe these bad boys right here down below in the comments this is for sure the basuda of the week i am interested to see what else comes from kanye as far as this shoe goes but listen that is all of the basuda of the week but that last one these joints is like some super saiyan type basuda right here but let's go ahead and get the big mouse bass pair of fives off of the screen and let's go ahead and get back to the heat bro for this next one i'm not gonna lie to y'all i'm pretty excited for a lot of those guys out there who have been waiting to try out adidas 4d i still don't have any 4d sneakers but finally they got that price down and on august 13th for a retail of 200 we should be getting the adidas ultra 4d now i'm probably gonna try and cop a pair just to try it out for myself to see what the 4D tech feels like. Again, I never tried the shoe out. I never got any 4D sneakers. And that's because most of them were either limited or the ones that did drop. I just wasn't, you know, trying to rush and spend 300, 350, or $400 for them. Now, I don't have any idea of how limited this shoe is going to be. I'm hoping it's a very, very wide release to get that 40 tech in more people's hands, but we won't know until again the 13th for that retail of again. 200. This week, finally, we got some news from Union themselves of an official release date, release details, and their official photos. And it seems that there are actually four sneakers in this collection. You have the Air Jordan, well, not, let me not say four. It's four different shoes, but it's three different models, four different colorways, 
Fuck it, y'all get it when y'all see the pictures. So we have, of course, the Air Jordan 4s, both of their colorways, as well as a Zoom 92 and a Delta Mid. So this is the full sophomore album collection from Union and Jordan. And even with the tongue flipping up, the tongue flipped up on the 4s does help. But in my opinion, it still looks like some flea market 4s. It still looks kind of weird. And they're still Basuda. The tongue flipping up is not changing my mind. But the other two, the Delta Mid and the Zoom 92, Honestly, I haven't been too crazy about the Zoom 92, any colorways, or at least, you know, I haven't gone out to cop any, but this one is pretty nice. I'm not mad at it at all. Now, the Delta Mid, that one's a pretty easy pass. Now, the countdown is live right now on, I believe, UnionJordanLA.com or UnionJordan.com. So if you go to that site, you can see the countdown for this pack. And uh, yeah, I wish I could say I changed my mind on these fours because I want them to be good because I would love to go cop another pair of unions and at least have a pair of unions but these four still in my opinion are not hitting the zoom 92 is cool and the delta mid uh, I'm just not feeling them now for a shoe I'm actually looking forward to we have some more pairs of these Sakai vapor waffles blam y'all can see them right here we have four brand new colorways now we know we have four on the way for this year and these four are supposed to be dropping next spring summer in 2021 and again like I said it's four new colorways you got a black and gray or purple and gold i think out of these four the purple and gold are definitely the hardest you also have kind of like that dark khaki black and blue as well as a beige black and white pair these colorways i feel like that dark khaki and that beige colorway eh, pretty similar the black and gray is going to be a nice colorway just for kind of like a calm down version a calm down colorway of it it's not too stand out but it's going to look good with the fit but that purple gold and white one out of these four is definitely going to be the one that i think the most people are going for right now we don't have any release dates or actual retail info on how much they're going to be priced by because again these are for next year in 2021 i am still waiting for more info of the original four that's supposed to be dropping later this year back to yeezy now earlier this week kanye took to twitter he tweeted out a picture and blam you guys can see right i'm probably gonna have to zoom in and kind of scroll through it and it's just multiple different versions of yeezys and a ton of unreleased and some released colorways and it's just i mean it's just a lot going on in this photo now in addition to this big photo we also have some other joints like these because i had some people ask me about this a pair of yellow wave runners so there could be some more wave runners on the way this yellow one with that colored midsole maybe with a couple tweaks i would like this colorway more now the other two i mean they i probably should put these in basuda but you got basically two like yeezy clogs you got this yellow pair with this hole in midsole and you also have this pair of top which is like some slippers or some sandals with holes in the bottom kind of like trail treading on the bottom yeah these two these are basuda like these these are basuda bro it ain't no other way to put it so we're just going to get back to that big photo as far as this photo goes i mean if you want to see it i'll link the tweet down below there's a lot of stuff if you zoom in on the photo there's a ton of dope colorways especially in the yeezy quantum basketball sneaker as well as the yeezy 700 v3 and most of this stuff really never makes it to the market never makes it to us but some of the stuff we could see would i like some yellow wave runners sure that pair we've seen maybe not but I would be down for yellow wave runner sure let's try it now i did want to do a quick release reminder because by the time this video is up the review for this shoe should be live the bel air or the alternate bel air fives and these are going to be dropping on the 15th but if you want an early look the review is up right now and to go ahead and end off this week's video the bread off white four there have been more photos popping up. Now, this shoe was supposed to drop in August. When those initial leaks dropped, this shoe was supposed to be dropping this month in August, but it seems that the shoe has been moved back to maybe November. As soon as I have more info and an actual release date, I will let y'all know um, how good that's going to do you. I don't know because uh, them off-white, the tan, the khaki joints them joints flew nike sneakers ain't even give me the chance bro but yeah when i talk about the off-white fours i mentioned that virgil said first hers than his and i said that maybe there would be some men's releases of the khaki joints and then some of y'all said no nah, it's probably gonna be the breads and i think y'all were actually right but we will just have to wait and see and that is it those are all the releases that is everything we have to talk about for this week's heater hype y'all let me know did you cop anything this week or did you save all the money in the pockets remember that 
It's always a good option. And also salutes to everybody that cop from the sample SummerSlam drop. A lot of y'all stuff will be landing on Wednesday. We had a lot of people come through and order some stuff. And if you haven't copped yet, some sizes are still available. But listen, man, make sure you drop a like on this bid. Much love to all the fam, followers, and of course supporters. You guys can follow me on Instagram, Twitter, SoundCloud, Twitch. The Twitch is Bullet RC, by the way, here, there. Buzz, of course, my shoes are around here all over the place. So, Bullet RC and i'm gonna see you guys in the next video i need to go edit now much love as always peace Ready. if you come here trying to take some there's a lot more where that came from and it really ain't no thing i got some opinion in this thing i just dropped the jig in my red bull and it really gave me